Well, welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute. <laughs> I have been in a, I guess you'd just call it a funk about photography here lately. I just have not been inspired to even grab my camera and go for a walk. It's just, it's been awful. But I am in Arkansas uh, and I'm on my way home and I have scheduled out a much longer drive than I would normally take taking the back roads through small little towns to just stop and get out and take pictures along the way. So today's video is going to be a run and gun of Arkansas and Tennessee. So let's get started. So I am in Earl, Arkansas, and it's just a little town about 15 miles from where I graduated high school over in Wynn, Arkansas. And it's on the way to Memphis. And I always stop, whenever I stop here to take pictures, I always stop here, which is the old Earl High School. It's been empty for a long time. But if you notice, they've built a new school right next to it. Um, but this is still picture worthy. And I'm just gonna kind of drive through the streets of Earl, stop and get out, take a few pictures. Won't be spending any time really anywhere to speak of because I do have, you know, it's over seven hours of a drive without stopping. So it's going to take me a while to get home, but um, this video will be run and gun all the way. I'm not going to set my, I'm not going to set my pocket three up on a tripod to get a video of me taking pictures. I'll just kind of show you around, show you the pictures I got and see if we can start posting videos to this channel again. These are the kinds of places I'm looking for mostly. However, you know, there will be things along the way that are just quite pretty that I want to take pictures of as well. But these kinds of places really capture my attention. Now today I'm, I'm shooting pictures with the Canon R6 Mark II, but I brought my 24 to 240 where places like this really deserve a wide angle lens or at least a wider angle than 24. But I'm traveling light and uh, it's really all about just getting my camera out of the day in car. There is a tie here to home because this is also part of the Trail of Tears for a couple of miles through here. This is the Museum of Earl. There are a lot of places to take pictures here, and I could spend hours just wandering around Earl. But I can't do that everywhere I go, so I'm just, I'm just stopping a few places, grabbing a few snaps, and putting them up. Um, the last time that I was here, just wandering around taking pictures, I did get stopped <laughs> by a resident wanting to know what I was doing. Um, and I may get stopped again. Earl, by the way, I believe it's Earl, had the distinction a few years ago of electing a mayor, a nice young black man who was still in high school. I'm not sure if he's still the mayor here or not. I need to look that up. But I watched some videos of him on the news, and I think they made a really good decision. Well, this is my first stop after Earl, and it's sort of an unexpected stop. I am on my way to LaGrange, Tennessee, which is just, you know, another 10 or 15 miles, I think. And I happen to come through a little town called Moscow. Moscow, Tennessee. The uh, main street is uh, about a block and a half long, so I'm going to walk around here and take a few pictures before I move on to LaGrange.
All right, so I am now in Lagrange, and you know, I'm just—I've got my map up on Waze, and I'm just kind of driving down some streets that look like they might be interesting. I just drove through two blocks of downtown, <laughs> and I'm just on the outskirts of downtown, and I ran across these two buildings right here. Let me turn this around for you. So a couple of places I'm going to walk around and take some pictures, and I may take some more here if I go back across the highway. Um, there was some storefronts right down here, but also a couple of police cars. And so, yeah, I want to kind of be careful. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take a few pictures and then uh, we're going to head to the next town. Well, I'm hoping you'll be able to hear me over this train coming by, but I don't have a lot of time to wait around. So I am now in Grand Junction, Tennessee. Grand Junction is home of the National Bird Dog Museum, which I passed on the way in, and it actually looks quite nice. <laughs> um, and uh, I saw a sign just briefly about walking tall, so I don't know if there's a history here with Buford Pusser. I'll see if I can figure that out. There's not much here, but I'm going to walk around and take a few pictures, and uh, then we'll be on to the next spot. Well, I am now in Middleton, Tennessee, and their sign at the edge of town says that this is the crossroads of Tennessee. I need to look at a map. Um, I, there's not a whole lot here, but I did spot this building right here behind me, and I thought that it might be an old abandoned church. Let me go back in case you missed that, but I've been concentrating on this building right here for a little bit. I thought it might be an old abandoned church. But it's not. It is an abandoned Masonic Lodge, um, as the sign clearly says on the front front of the building. Unfortunately, all the windows are boarded up. You can't see inside. It's locked up. You can't go inside. And I'm not sure in the state of the building that I would want to go inside. <laughs> but uh, it's right here in the middle of town. So... Well, I have made it to downtown Selmer, not to be confused with Selma, Alabama. This is Selmer, Tennessee. This is quite a bit larger than the other places that I've stopped so far. I am in the historic section of Selmer, and I got a few blocks to walk around before I get done. 
but I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. I'm just kind of kind of glance around, take a few pictures, and get back on the road. I've been on the road now about four and a half hours, and I've got at least one more town on my stop. Now, I will say, because uh, I think I forgot to mention it before, but I am shooting, when I was shooting this morning, when it was still kind of dark, I was shooting at f5.6 and an automatic ISO in aperture priority. And then the sun kind of came out a little bit, things got a little brighter. So I've been shooting at f8, but also still with an auto auto ISO to try to get uh, you know sort of everything in focus. I'm not really worried about bokeh and all that kind of stuff. Um, and with the 24 to 240, it only goes down to f4 anyway. So it's f4 to f5.6 or 6.3 maybe. Um, and so, uh, you know, settling in at 5.6 this morning worked out really nice. And then F8, it, it works like a charm. So I'm going to take some pictures. Well, it's quite windy here, and uh, got quite a bit more traffic. I don't think I mentioned I've been I've been driving on Sunday, so that most of the little towns I've gone through on Sunday morning, they're all shut down. There's, there's nothing open, which made it really easy to photograph. I am now in Savannah, Tennessee, not Savannah, Georgia, Savannah, Tennessee. And again, it's a pretty good size place. It's much bigger than the other little towns that I stopped at earlier today. Um, and I've got about a three or four block section here I'm gonna walk around on to take some pictures. I'm sure there is a lot more that I could do, but I have been on the road now just a little over five hours with all the stops I've made to take pictures. And I still have three and a half hours to go to get home. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I, I don't have any other stops planned after this one, uh, but that doesn't mean I won't stop somewhere. And if I do, I'll come back on and uh, talk about it. But otherwise, uh, this was this was planned to be my last stop of the day. And I have to say, I have thoroughly enjoyed being out with my camera again, seeing things that I've never seen, driving through wide open spaces I've never seen, it's just been a very relaxing, enjoyable ride, and it's been a great time just, you know, pointing the camera and clicking the button, which I have neglected to do now for about a month. So we'll see if we can't jumpstart this thing back into existence. Thanks for watching.